When you've completed your assembly and you want to share it with someone, or if you're having students work virtually and you want them to send you their assemblies, there's a, a quick and easy way to do it. Rather than send all the individual parts, which you'll need to rebuild and then uh, it can get messy and parts can get lost. So if you take your assembly and you go up, we can, click and instead of going down to save or save as you want to go down to share and when you get to share you want to use this piece called pack and go and what that does is it takes every part that's in your assembly and anything you've created uh, during the assembly packs it all up into one zip file and then you can send that and that's a, a much easier way to collect uh, assemblies from your students. When you think about all the things that could go wrong, uh, you know, in the naming conventions or anything else, uh, like if they send you the assembly but forget the parts, uh, you end up chasing uh, after people. So using the pack and go is going to really help things out. So when you click on pack and go and it says, do you want to save the changes? And you say, sure. And what it then does is make a list of all the various pieces that are in, and it's gonna ask you to pick a folder. Uh, in this case, it'll be my documents. And basically it says copy all files to a single folder. Uh, now, if you have a, a big folder structure that you're using, then you would, you would choose this other option. Um, and you can include drawings and simulation results uh and you can take build materials and things and then you just say save and then it creates a zip file that it's it's a one file transfer to somebody else